In our area, there are several types of underwater environments. Let's go for a swim and take a look at them. But we have to use the waters of Long Island Sound, which are much clearer than the Hudson. The Sound is saltier than most of the Hudson River, but like our part of the river, it is also an estuary. It has much less salt than the open sea. The Hudson is similar in saltier areas, but not quite the same as our river. See if you can spot differences. We are going to take a closer look at three different kinds of bottoms. One is rocky shore and rocky bottom. Rocks are ideal places for marine life to grab hold and grow. Different kinds of seaweed, such as bladder rack and sea lettuce, dominate this part of the shore. Barnacles grow on the rocks themselves. Crabs and small fish often use the rocks and vegetation around them to hide and grow. Now let's look at sandy bottom, which can be pebbly, like this one, or fine grain mud, such as what is commonly found in the Hudson River. In this kind of environment, crabs and fish may burrow into the mud on the bottom and hide. Marsh is also common in both the sound and the river. Here you can see a marsh plant called Spartina, growing under the waters of a high tide. Further down, we can see other plants nestled in the Spartina, and below that we can see a large mat of plant matter called the root complex of the marsh. The root complex can be very large. It is soft and spongy, and it has lots of plant material and microbes in it. The root complex serves as both nutrition and hiding places for lots of marine life. See the burrows here? Salt marshes are some of the most productive environments on Earth. That is why it is so important to protect the salt marshes that are left in our area.